डिसेंट्रलाइजेशन मीडिया Hi guys, this is Mr. Z, and here is your first tutorial on Stella. And to start off, uh, we have a to-do list. It contains what we're going to be doing today. And let's start off by visiting Stella Laboratory. It's a interface developed by the community for developers and the enthusiasts of Stella. It uses the Stella Horizon API. And performs transaction within within the nodes. So first of all, so we've arrived at this laboratory right now. And if you look up top, it gives you a specific warning, saying that the test net could expire on a specific date. Now, let's say we switch the network on the right top right corner to public, the message disappears. What this implies is that. The public net is the live net that's currently running for Stella within the active nodes around the world. And the test net is provided for the users and the developers if they are about to develop a particular application in Stella, using Stella that is. Yes. So we are going to be testing it ourselves. So let's go with the test net and click on the account creator tab. So we completed the first three steps. Yes. Now, from this particular tab, let's click on Generate Key Pair. Now, this would generate a unique key pair, a public and a secret key. These keys aren't valid unless the, they are funded by Luma. Now, in the public net, once a key pair is generated, another account will have to fund them with certain amount of lumens. However, in the testnet, you have a friendly uh, test, I mean, friend bot that can fund, fund you with lumens. It will fund you particularly with 10,000 lumens. So, let's see how it happens. So, this is the key pair that was generated for us. I recommend you copy this key pair and uh, keep it safe. But we can have we can use it the next time. Yeah? Now all you got to do is just copy the public key and paste it in this particular funder testnet account link. So clicking this would do it as well, and say get test lumens. So now that your account has been funded with test lumens, let's move on to or let's copy your public key and move on to endpoint explorer tab. Here we are provided with all the endpoints that are there in the Horizon API. These are all the get requests particular. So let's go to accounts, a single account, and paste our public key and submit. So this is basically an API call to the Horizon network. And here we are provided with certain links. Let's say self that's for the for, for accessing the account itself and the transactions performed by the account, the operations done by the account, or the payment operations done, etc. The offers, the trades, and also the data that the account holds. Now we can see the public key is provided here as the ID as well as the account ID. Each account has a sequence number. So each transaction or operation that's performed in the account will use this sequence and it will be incremented. So in doing so, the ledger number is maintained. And when we look at the balance, we are provided with the native asset type and 10,000 lumens that are friend bot funded as well. And below that is the signers. Each account has a weight level and a signer that it's assigned to. So this particular account has the signer as itself. But you can have an account with multiple signers and multiple weight distributions. So that's it for account creation on the Stellar Laboratory. 
Now next we'll be looking at creating an account through the Stella SDK. So now let's have a look at how we can create an account using the Stella SDK just like how we generated the key pair using the laboratory. So similar to that we have a key pair generator. I will be pasting segments of code and saying what they actually do. So here we have an example of the key pair generator uh, which uses the Stella import key pair and it will generate and lock the key pair, the public and the private key below in the console. Now let's say we instead of trying this out, let's add one more step to it where we fund this account just like how we use the friend bot in the laboratory so yet again we're going to be using the horizon client import and we're going to assign it to the testnet and using the testnet we are going to fund this address the public key now even if we do this uh, there's no particular way in which you would know whether it happened successfully or not uh, the best way to identify this is by querying the account from horizon once again so basically we look for the endpoint of this particular public key whether it exists in the testnet so as you can see here we have yet again used the uh, key pair the pu public address and requested the account using the horizon client and upon requesting the account we try to attain the account details and i have logged the account id as well as the balance in the initial um, type of uh, asset that is the native asset so we should have 10,000 lumens let's try it out So it generated a key pair and then funded that particular account and as soon as we retrieved the account details the account ID did appear as the same public key and we also received 10,000 lumens. So the account creation process is completed as you can see. However there is another method of creating an account by performing a transaction using the account that we already have. So this will be followed up in a upcoming video and hope you guys like this video thank you very much please leave a like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for notifications thank you decentralization media